Are you tired of the same old stocks trading strategies that never seem to bring in any profits you desire? Are you ready to learn about some new fresh innovative techniques that can help you take your trading to the next level? Look no further because in this video we will explore the exciting world of options trading and other advanced stock trading strategies that can help you make smarter, more informed trades and maximize your financial losses. But before we go on, I would encourage you to subscribe as I post content daily and you don't want to miss out. If you're an experienced trader, you're likely always on the lookout for new and effective ways to increase your profit and minimize your risks. On the other hand, if you're new to the world of stock trading, you may be feeling overwhelmed by all the different options available to you and unsure where to start. In either case, this video is here to help. We'll provide a comprehensive overview of some of the most popular and effective stock trading strategies out there including options trading, swing trading and more. With this information and your fingertips, you'll be well equipped to make informed decisions and develop the strategy that works for you. So let's get started. Options trading involves the use of options contracts which gives the holder the right but not the obligation to buy or sell a stock at a specific price on or before a certain date. This type of trading can be risky, but it can also offer the potential for significant profits, making it a popular choice among experienced investors. There are two types of options, call options and put options. A call option gives the holder the right to buy a stock at a certain price, while a put option gives the holder the right to sell a stock at a certain price. Swing trading involves taking advantage of short-term price movements, typically holding positions for a few days to a few weeks. This strategy is best suited for traders who have a moderate amount of capital to work with and are comfortable with high levels of risks. Swing traders often use technical analysis to identify potential trades and set up stop loss orders to minimize potential losses. Day trading involves buying and selling stocks within the same day with the goal of profiting from short term price movements. This strategy is ideal for traders of a high level of capital and a willingness to take on significant risks. Day traders must be able to make quick decisions and have the discipline to stick to their trading plans. Long term investing on the other hand involves holding stocks for an extended period of time with the goal of earning substantial returns through price appreciation. This strategy is perfect for investors with a long term time horizon and a lower tolerance of risks. Long term investors may also receive dividends from their stocks which can provide additional income. It's important for long-term investors to carefully research and select high-quality stocks that have the potential to appreciate over time. Next, Momentum Trading. Momentum trading involves buying stocks that are exhibiting strong upward momentum with the expectation that the trend will continue. This particular strategy is usually based on the idea that stocks that are already performing well are more likely to continue to do so in the short term. Momentum traders use technical analysis tools such as moving averages and relative strength indices to identify potential trades. This strategy can be risky as there is no guarantee that the stock's momentum will continue. Value investing Value investing involves buying stocks that are undervalued based on fundamental analysis with the expectation that the market will eventually recognize their true worth. This strategy is based on the idea that some stocks may be temporarily undervalued due to the market conditions or other factors and that they have the potential to increase in value over time. Value investors may look for stocks with a low price to earning ratio, strong balance sheet and other financial metrics that suggest that they are undervalued. Short selling involves selling stocks that the trader does not own with the expectation that the price will decline and the stocks can be purchased at a lower price in the future. This strategy is used when a trader believes that the stock price will decrease in the near term. To execute a short sale, the trader must borrow the stock from another investor and then sell it to the market. If the price of the stock does indeed decline, the trader can then buy the stock back at the lower price, return it to the lender and pocket the difference as a profit. However, if the price of the stock increases, the trader will incur a loss. Short selling can be risky, as there is theoretically no limit to the potential losses. No matter which strategy you choose, it's important to do your due diligence and thoroughly research your options before making any trades. This may include reading financial news analysis, studying company financials and trends and speaking with financial advisors. By taking the time to properly educate yourself and carefully plan your trades, you can increase your chances of successfully trading the stock market. Thanks for the, watching the video. If you like the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.